All right, we're gonna look at a technique uh, on how to scan very thin objects. I've got my old license plate here, um, no longer in use, but figured it'd be a good part to show how to scan a very thin object with the K-Scan 20 from ScanTag. Um, what we already have here, I've put uh, six, seven targets on the front and about the same on the back already. Then we've got a turntable with targets and a small vise with some targets. Um, what we're going to do essentially is pre-scan all the targets. I'm going to put a couple targets on the edge, just temporarily, just to help us bridge the gap from side to side. Once we're done, I'm going to delete them, so then we'll just have the targets that are on here currently, and then we'll, we'll scan everything together all in one scan. So it'll make more sense once we do it. So to start, I'm going to clamp this guy together. Right. I'm going to take four targets, two on each side, just place purely just on the edge. It's going to look kind of funny to start with, but these are just for alignment purposes. And the one key thing, the only time we have to be careful during this process really is during this initial scan of the targets. Uh, we don't want to bump the table or anything to make the actual license plate uh, move because it, that means the targets on the license plate would move in relation to uh, the table, the targets on the table. So first up is going to be to scan the targets. You want to get all the targets on the license plate and the ones on the side. I have these from a lot of different angles for accuracy purposes. Alright, that's good. We'll stop that. Again, this is the only step we really had to be careful of bumping anything for vibrations. So now we're good, we've got that. Um, general rule of thumb when scanning the mark points, always run the optimized step. Um, and that will just do kind of a fine alignment of all those targets. So, first, what we're going to do is just delete those targets, the surrounding targets. So, from the base, that vice, and the table. And then we're going to go in and delete the targets from the edge, too. Because if we leave those, it will not capture any data on those edges. So we'll go and remove these targets from the side. Which we just are using, we just use those to kind of pre-lay everything out and give it some, some thickness for the uh, the placement of those targets. Uh, I am going to leave this vice here, but only for uh, just to set the license plate on. And flip that over just so we're not picking up any additional targets. So we're only going to use the targets that are actually on the license plate. So I'll flip this over to laser patch so we can actually do our scanning. Currently I have the resolution set to 0.3 millimeter um, and that's to, to get decent definition on the edge. If you go a higher resolution, you'll get even better definition. Uh, so we will start scanning. from different angles to get good thorough data, especially on that edge. That edge is important to make this look good once it's done. But again, we just have targets on our object. With the, the K-Scan, it's got a big field of view, uh, so you don't have that have a ton of targets. And again, like I said, you don't really have to worry about vibrations, so I can just turn this guy. Technically, I could probably hold it in, in my hand, but this is easy. With the case scan, you need to see, it needs to see four targets at any time to keep positioning properly. All right, so that's we're probably getting close to being good. Go over just one more time just to make sure we got some good coverage on all these edges. Okay. So I'll hit 
this stuff there. All right, so real quick, once this is done doing the pre-process, we will do a little bit of cleanup, just to remove the background, and then we'll flip the plate over. But it will be the same scan, so there's no alignment purposes. So we'll do disconnected components, delete, run that one more time. It selects the, the plate, but that's okay. We'll just reverse it, delete everything else. So that's the raw data, looks pretty good. Flip this guy over. And then jump back into scanning. So same scan project. We won't have to do any alignment. We will do a little bit of editing again just to delete the background for this second scan. Back of this license plate, it's a little shiny, kind of brushed metal, but that's uh, not a problem. On the other side with the black letters, you may have noticed that it took a little bit more time for those black letters to come in. You could bump the exposure up a little bit to, to help those come in a little easier, but keeping the exposure down does keep the noise down as well. There's a little bit of a trade off, but they come in just fine. Okay, so that's probably good there. So we'll stop. We'll do that disconnected component stuff again just to delete anything not touching the main body and then we'll match it. Okay. Disconnect component. Run up one more time. Okay. So now Here's our raw data. Everything's already pre-aligned, so we already did that um, by scanning all those mark points first. So we'll come in here to the wrap stuff, hit OK. Leave everything at default. It will fill those holes and mesh it. So this shouldn't take but more than no more than 30 seconds or so. And we may see some holes around the edge, but it should be decent. As I mentioned at the beginning, you can up the resolution of your scanning to get a little better edge definition. Some of these like right here, but overall, pretty good data for it being such a thin part. I do want to come in and hold fill some of the edge stuff. Come in to mesh, hold fill. Come in here, pinch these guys. That's what you want. Does a decent job of holding. There you go. That's it.